Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Monday, May 9th. Our readings today are taken from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John. And through them, we are reminded that it is only through a relationship with Jesus that we will find eternal life with the Father in heaven. Let us begin our celebration this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal Mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles, too, had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, you entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice <clears throat> say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter, and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean you are not to call profane. This happened three times. And then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where you were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us, when we became to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles, too. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's response to the psalm is, A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity, they shall lean on me. And bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go and enter the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. A reading from the Holy Gospel, 
according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice. As the shepherd calls his own sheep by their name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came that they may have life and may have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's interesting that Jesus uses the image of the gate to describe himself in today's gospel. Now we know that a gate provides security for those who are safely behind it. But it's probably also to remind us that gates swing both ways. We can enter through them and leave through them as well. We have the freedom to choose to stay where there is nourishment and security or leave and fend for ourselves. And when we consider the joy and the love that await us if we stay versus the loneliness and the suffering if we leave, the choice becomes quite easy. Let us now bring our cares and concerns before our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we move towards an end of the pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all who work to end this virus and give our leaders the wisdom and courage to make the right decisions we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, that our leaders may be inspired by the love of God and choose peace over violence and hatred. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in any way burdened in these difficult times, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely and frontline and essential workers may find peace and comfort we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your love and the grace you provide us each day. Grant us the courage to walk the path that leads to salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.